What is going on guys? It is your boy Bio2K and today I'm going to be bringing you guys a video on five mistakes you don't want to make in NBA 2K20 my team. So if you guys are new to the channel, be sure to consider hitting that subscribe button and also hit that like button. I don't know why I did the like button for the subscribe thing, but we're just going to roll with it anyway. So uh, yeah, I hope you guys, I hope these tips do help you guys. And without further ado, let's hop into the video. If you would like cheap and reliable MT, be sure to head over to NBAMTCoin.com and use code BIO2K for 5% off your final order. I'm not talking about packs. Opening packs is never a good idea. So don't worry. That's not why we are on this screen. Why we're on the screen is because every day that you log in consistently, you guys do get a free daily login reward. Today's daily login reward was a free multi-dimensional pack now i know i'm not opening the pack on the screen for you guys because i actually already recorded this video and what happened was my computer like glitched out on me the file got corrupted and i can't like re-log in and get like the pack again so i'm just letting you guys know that today it's wednesday the 18th of september you guys do get a free multi-dimensional pack so be sure to hit that or be sure to log in today um even if you guys haven't been logging in every day to get the weekly reward make sure you guys are logging in today because you will still get the free multi-dimensional pack so Make sure you guys are doing that. Like I said, I already kind of screwed up, so I can't really show you that, show you guys that, unfortunately. But the first tip, or the second tip, technically, that I'm going to be bringing you guys is this home screen. Now, this home screen, there's three keys on it that you guys need to pay attention to. One is the community tab. Paying attention to the community tab over here kind of lets you know what's new in my team, what's kind of going on. But also, when they actually start releasing locker codes and stuff like that, it's going to be on this screen. They're going to be putting in the locker codes that they put on Twitter in the My Team Hub. And you guys want to be paying attention to this because, like I said, it's like locker codes that'll get you like free packs, free MT, free VC stuff like, or not VC, free uh, tokens, stuff like that. So you guys want to make sure that you guys are paying attention to that. Um, outside of that, the Today in My Team thing is actually really helpful as well. Kind of lets you know what's going on throughout the day and stuff like that. Like yesterday actually was really helpful. Yesterday was every single game of triple threat offline that you played between a certain time. They gave you an additional token. We redeemed a diamond yesterday and you guys could see we're almost to another one. Today's actually is going to be every unlimited game that you win. You actually get 200 MT plus. So between the times of 1 to 3 a.m., 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. and 2 to 4 p.m. I don't know really. I don't really understand why those are the times. However, it doesn't really matter. Probably not going to be able to finish an unlimited game anyway. But the point is, you want to be paying attention to that because sometimes it is actually helpful. Like the other day, it was actually two tokens for every time you open the vault or whatever. So it was, you know, it's still pretty cool. Um, and then the agenda. The agenda you want to be paying attention to because this has free MT in it all the time that you really want to be paying attention to. Um, like I said, these are the daily ones. So if you buy, by paying attention to these daily ones and completing them, it's free MT literally every single day. And then you guys obviously can see like you have the weekly, monthly, lifetime, all that sort of stuff. The only other one that you guys want to make sure you're paying attention to is the dynamic one because these do expire as you guys can see. And they're really easy. It's free MT and stuff like that. So Jimmy Butler get four steals in the game with him. 350 MT like Bagley is five points, five rebounds. You get 250 MT. Um, eight ends is 10 points, eight rebounds. It all kind of builds up. That's almost a thousand MT just from completing like random little goals like that i'm sorry if you guys could hear a siren apparently shit's going down so the other tip i want to give you guys and the third mistake that i don't want you guys to be making in my team and yes we're back on the pack screen because never open packs in this game the money that you guys are putting in is never gonna be worth what you're gonna pull out of these packs i understand that i do it and i rarely open packs i haven't really opened any packs this year but the reason why i do it is to show you guys that pack odds are not good it's more of a showing you guys sort of thing because i don't get rewarded either i don't pull anything and the one thing i want to tell you guys the most is do not open packs with mt that is the thing i can't stress the most buying a 10 box here or there is not a big deal however buying packs of mt is never a good idea like did the sun really have to like dude, see we're struggling now we're struggling now we're struggling out here boys because i'm trying to tell you i'm not to open packs and the sun's like yeah bio mm. so i'm gonna show y'all real quick we're gonna open up one single with mt 6k mt to open up this one pack and i'm going to kind of show you guys what it's really worth we pull an am this coach of course you know what i'm saying of course now this pack i probably can get my mt back but if you open you know what just just for the video i'll do it again just for the video because i know i'm not going to pull another am this and of course that has to happen when i'm telling you guys not to open packs so scrolling through here this is a little bit better right so you get a shoe 
you get a sapphire player okay kemba you get an emerald coach a playbook and a contract this is not worth 6k mt so you're right here you're already losing out on your mt and i know a lot of people sit here and say like bio like i you know i spent 100k in packs and i, I didn't make it back you know can i have 20k like that's where i'm kind of telling you guys not to do this so speaking of the multi-dimensional packs this brings me to the next and most important one in my opinion do not lock in collections ever ever do not lock in collections there's one kind of collection i think it is worth locking in and that are the token ones so the current day collections you know that don't have amethyst and stuff in it which we'll get to in a minute those are the ones that are worth locking in do not lock in promo sets i'm telling you guys this because you guys are missing out on so much more mt than you guys realize by locking in these sets now what i mean by that is all these guys right now like charlie ward matt barnes jermaine o'neal ben wallace right danny h these guys are all gonna shoot up like their price is gonna shoot up at the, towards the end of this year probably even by december i want to say because what happens is these packs are gonna go away people are gonna want this jr right an update is gonna come out that makes jr a god people are gonna want this jr now would it be worth it to have jr probably but what you really think about like what you're gonna be missing out on then is gonna be way more than i think jr would be worth and what i mean by that is these cards all are going to end up going for like 10k right that may not seem like a lot but five times 10 that's 50k mt right there wilt might probably go for like 20k by then same thing with dave same thing with lebron and then you have like these amethyst which already i know people are locking in and i don't know why because if you guys search the pack that like the free pack that is out tank these prices a little bit like i just looked at these prices like i said john havlicek is going for like 94k right now that's still a lot of MT to be locking in in the beginning of the year. And then you have Michael Jordan, which it says that he's not a bid. There's none up for a buy. There's one up for a buy now, and he's gone already. I still don't think 100K plus like 90K plus all this potential MT in the future is worth locking in for a card like J.R. Smith. Because again, you guys are going to be like, oh, bio, you know, it's J.R. Smith. Well, this Darrell Armstrong starts out as a Sapphire and works his way up to an Amethyst that does sell for around 40 to 45K as well. So that's more MT that you guys are locking in. And also, this J.R. Smith is not worth it. He's a guy, yeah, it's J.R. Smith. You know what? He can shoot, he can dunk. That's what he does, right? He can shoot and he can dunk. That's why everybody wants him, because he's a diamond, right? If you guys take a look at some of the free cards that you guys can get from, like, the AM of this board, Kevin Johnson, he can shoot, he can dunk. That's a bad example. You know what? Let me, let me change that. Let me change my mind because we're looking at shooting guards here today. Here are three shooting guards already. One for completing domination, two are Amethyst rewards. All that can shoot, all that can dunk, all that can finish very well around the rim. There is my boy Walter Davis. I don't know where he is. He's somewhere. I think he's for the collector rewards, which yeah, Walter Davis, same thing. He could shoot, he could dunk. These are all Sapphires that are very good at doing, I mean, these are all Amethysts that are very good at doing what J.R. Smith could do and you're not locking in all this MT. Even if you're on the Ruby board, Barbosa, he can shoot. He can't, I don't think he can really finish around the rim. Like, I don't think he's gonna be slamming down on people. Who knows? He might be able to, but the point is he could shoot really well. You know, uh, where is he? Uh, Rex Chapman, Quentin Richardson, right on. All can shoot, all can dunk. It's not worth locking in the MT when you have so many Ruby rewards that can do the same exact thing as J.R. Smith. Now, the most important one, actually outside of the premium collections, are these current day collections because i get so many people asking me what collections worth locking in which one's not anyone with an amethyst right now is not worth locking in especially Giannis with the box lebron and ad Kawhi and paul george curry and freaking i think curry's the only amethyst now yeah so it's not worth locking in it is not worth locking in right now i know you want you want your you want your team to look great right I don't have any of these current day amethyst locked in and i have a full diamond team you don't need to lock them in i promise you guys and i haven't been spending a bunch of money on this game either like i said it's all from just grinding the game Giannis goes again i just checked this price Giannis goes the lowest one up was 64k when i just looked right 64k right now could probably complete you two collections so it's basically do you want to complete two collections or do you want Giannis in your thing now two collections is worth 40 tokens to me obviously that can you know so say actually like this so this is how we're gonna put it right two collections you can lock in for this right maybe it'll take a little bit more so for 60k so we'll say for 70k excuse me you can lock in two collections right that's one from the east 
and one from the west now when you lock in one from the east one from the west you're gonna get 20 tokens right for each team also when you guys if you guys don't know in the agenda when you come over to the lifetime scroll all the way down you get an additional 20 tokens for the east team and for the west team now we're at 80 tokens here 80 tokens depending on where you are can burn through some of these boards when i got those 80 tokens i had two cards left on the ruby board so i not only picked up two rubies but i also got two amethyst because i think i had some tokens already but and if i didn't get two amethyst i was really close to a second one anyway it can get you some like really good cards for free without having to lock in like yeah you'll have to lock in the cheaper cards and i know you guys might, might be like well bio you're still locking in it right it's more of an investment to level up your rewards tokens thing rather than locking an amethyst in that will be outplayed by a lot of different cards now again Giannis, kd these guys everybody wants you know everybody wants the kd everybody wants Giannis on the team right well even Giannis, like if you just take a look at him and compare him to somebody like we'll say like shane battier right like the height you know Giannis is taller there you go he's he's bigger you know what i'm saying but looking at the card battier can shoot and battier can play defense you know Giannis may have better stats but we all know attributes really aren't the best thing Battier can literally clamp down and actually shoot the ball a lot better than Giannis. And I know you guys are going to be like, well, shooting doesn't matter as much, right? But you know what does? Running the floor. And I know Giannis is a faster player. This is just an example of what I'm getting at here. Shane Batty is a free player, and they're going to play pretty similar. So whether you guys think Giannis is going to play better or not, one is 60K, one is free. So I think it's more of an investment to level yourself up through these rewards rather than worry about a current day amethyst that's not going to matter in like weeks. Like Shane Batty already doesn't matter. You guys can see my team. I'm just talking about from a beginner standpoint and like working your way up. They don't matter. This is my team. I don't need, you know, KD. You know, I don't need LeBron. I don't need AD. I love my team the way it is. I built this team by grinding this game too. And I'm telling you guys, you guys can do the same. So those are five mistakes not to make don't lock in collections don't lock in freaking premium set like the promos and stuff like that do not open packs with mt it's a waste it'll forever be a waste unless you get extremely lucky i promise you guys that do not forget about the daily logins make sure you guys are logging in every day you don't have to play all day just make sure you guys are logging in to get those free stuff and to get your free spin at the end of the week and also do not forget about the home page with the my team hub the agenda all that sort of stuff because you will miss out on some free mt and stuff like that so i hope you guys did enjoy be sure to hit that like button if these tips did help you guys out hit that subscribe button if you guys are new it'd be greatly appreciated let me know what videos you guys want to see down below gameplays tip videos i know people are asking me to do a zone tutorial people are asking me to do um how to beat off ball stuff like that which the off ball video is coming um i'm setting something up with another youtuber to work that out but uh yeah so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys did enjoy and i will see you in the next video